Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an American Girl doll and clothing haul and fashion show try on. So this is just a bunch of stuff I've gotten over the past several months. <laughs> and as you can see, I have a couple dolls there. I have some of the 35th anniversary collector ones. And then I have two of the girls of the year. And then I have some historical stuff, Julie, Courtney, and I have some Corinne and Kira and some of the like those, um, what were these called? Love Shack Fancy, just actually one Love Shack Fancy outfit. So oftentimes if you guys have watched my previous American Girl hauls, you'll know that I try to only buy stuff on sale. And when I get stuff, I don't immediately open it up usually because my American Girl dolls are always in storage. I don't have a good place to display them. And so I just kind of let them build up until I have a good amount. And then I like to just do a big video where I talk about all the different pieces and try them on different dolls and just have fun with it. So let's get started. So the first two things I'm going to show you are just my little Love Shack fancy things that I purchased. And I wanted all of it, but I tried to pick my two favorite things. So I really loved this cute little dress. I just think the pattern is so adorable. Here it is modeled on this gorgeous doll, which I hope to own someday. She's so cute. And then also the little box of shoes. Here's a closer look at the pattern and the little lace ribbon they sewed on there. These cute little flutter sleeves. And then this is the bottom. And it has a little bow in the back. Really pretty. And here's the shoes. I love that they package them in these little shoe boxes. It's so cute. So here's what the shoes look like in closer detail. Very adorable. No huge tag, which is a plus. <laughs> So here's the dress modeled on my cute little Gia doll who is a Corito kid. She's a little taller than a traditional American Girl doll. She is, I think, 20 inches tall and it looks really sweet on her. I Unfortunately, the shoes um, don't fit because her feet are a little bit thinner and longer than an American Girl, but I still wanted to include her in my video because I just opened her last month and I haven't dressed her in anything yet and I just thought this would be such a cute little outfit for her. And here's what it looks like in the back. Swoop her hair over here to the side. So really cute. It does fit Corito Kids, which is awesome. It's a little bit short, but not too bad at all. Always looking for clothes for them. <laughs> and I find that sandals seem to work the best for them. Open-toed shoes that will fit, um, American Girl open-toed shoes will fit them. So next, I think we'll move on to the few um, historical items that I got. So I did get this outfit for Julie. This is nothing new, but I've wanted it forever. I thought it was one of the cutest things that came out when they re released that new batch of stuff a while ago. So it's Julie's pinball outfit. So here's a look at the shoes. They're open toe with a little sling back design here, little wedge platforms that were, we all know, were popular back in the 70s. So nice bright red shoes. And then she comes with a pink hat, pink newsy style hat. Really cute. And then here's a look at the top. So adorable with the little pockets and the little buttons that work and the patches, the rainbow. I just love it. And then these gorgeous pants <laughs> that are embroidered in this really pretty design here. And there's a look at the back. Bell bottoms, which are in now again, yay. <laughs> Here's Julie in her pinball outfit and she looks so cute, oh my goodness. I honestly think Julie might be my favorite historical character. I don't know. I've always loved the 70s. I was born in the 70s, even though I grew up in the 80s, but I just have always loved the 70s. And Julie's like just one of my favorite dolls. I think if I could only keep one, it would be you, Julie. <laughs> but I really love how the outfit looks on her. I think it's so cute. And the little hat. I mean, isn't she just adorable? 
Okay, so next on the list we have three things I got for Courtney. And we got the Courtney's Fashion Accessories. This cute little bubble skirt. And these are all things from the original release that she had, not any of the new stuff yet. And then I have her splashy paint dress. I don't know if there's an official name for that. Oh, Courtney's splatter print dress, sorry. And her skirt and suspenders. So I have two models. I don't actually have a Courtney doll right this second. And I'm not sure if I'll ever get one, but I have two models that I'm going to show you what they look like with her clothes. Here's a look at what we get in Courtney's accessory pack. So we get this little gauzy headband, a green scrunchie, lime green, neon green, I should say. These little wrist warmers or hand warmers, I think that's what they are. They're too little to be leg warmers, two of them. And we have these mix and match earrings. So of course they're neon colors and they're the geometric shapes and the stars that were really popular back in the 80s. Here's a look at her purple skirt in this ruffled sort of bubbly shape, I guess. And then we have her pink suspenders. And here's a closer look at her paint splatter dress, which is just beautiful. I love all the colors, the bright colors and the splatters throughout. The bodice is kind of ruched and crinkled. And then the back closes with Velcro and I'm so happy they used black Velcro. Velcro. Good job. <laughs> so here is Gabriella and Tenny dressed up in Courtney's outfits. I really love both these outfits on them. I think they're so cute. And I have been using Gabriella as my 80s character because I don't I don't know. I just like having her be from the 80s and I think she looks so cute in all of Courtney's stuff. So she's always going to be one of my 80s girls, my Courtney stand-in. And then I also decided to try it on Tenny, which is my daughter's doll. Um, who she doesn't really want anymore, but she's such a beautiful doll and I didn't, didn't really care too much for her actual character and release when she first came out, but I do like using her as an 80 80s character now. She has a ton of hair and I think what I might do sometime is maybe crimp it so she can be totally 80s, but I think that this outfit looks really cute on her, the neons and the purples. And yeah, so I am excited to keep continuing to collect Courtney's stuff, but I probably at this point won't get the Courtney doll just because I like Tenny and Gabriella to be my 80s girls. So the other item I received, I forgot to show you, is Courtney's Pleasant Company doll, which of course is Molly. And I'm so happy that they released it like this because I love the packaging and I don't have a Molly mini doll yet. So this was perfect. So I'll go ahead and get her out and give you guys a little look. In the box, we get this cute little mini Courtney magazine, which shows Courtney. And you can kind of see the scale there of the doll. And if you want to read that, it's just a tiny little story about how she got her doll. Very cute. And then, oh, this is so adorable, but we get this tiny little Pleasant Company magazine catalog. I totally remember getting these when we were little and just drooling over them. Kirsten was my favorite. I never had her. I never had any American Girls when I was a child or a kid. We just, I don't know, we just couldn't afford them, I guess. Um, but it's all about Kirsten. And then we have, of course, Samantha. Oh, remember these? <laughs> The little poses. I just used to love the miniatures and I mean all the fantastic accessories that they had back then. And Molly. So really cute. This is such a cute idea for them to miniaturize this little catalog. So adorable. And then here's her little box. So really cute. Just a tiny little version of the Pleasant Company packaging. Absolutely adorable. I'm going to try to slide this ribbon off without ruining it. Let's see if I can. 
Oh, well, you don't have to worry about it because of Velcros. <laughs> okay, perfect. So there we have the Pleasant Company logo. Um, really cute. I love how much focus the books used to be back then. And then as you open it, here she is displayed with her tiny little Meet Molly book. And here's a look at the book. Really tiny. I don't think I can read that. Oh, I can read it with my eyes. I'm surprised I can. Complete with some illustrations. I'm always curious if this is the whole book. No, <laughs> I don't think it's the whole book since the last line is, those are Ricky's underpants. Maybe it is the last line in the book. Yeah, I don't know. I've never read Meet Molly, but here it is. Then we have Molly's tiny little glasses. And these are just plastic. Oh man, I would have loved it if they were metal, but they're just plastic. Cute. And here's a look at Molly with her cute little braided pigtails, her blue gray eyes. Um, just so cute. I'm just curious if she's the soft body or the hard body. I think she's the the plastic. Yeah, she's not squishy like some of the other ones were. Let me just double check. Yep, she's all vinyl. So she's not truly authentic to a mini Molly, but that's okay. And anyway, she has these tiny little ribbons that are holding her braids. And then her little knit sweater with the cute collar. And her little blue, navy blue skirt. And her little shoes and socks. So cute. Now you have your American girl and you have your American girl. You can share, <laughs> but that's how little she is next to both of them. There. <laughs> really cute. So I'm very happy with this little mini Molly. I forgot to put her glasses on. There we go. Now she can see there. That's better. <laughs> next up we have my new American Girls Collection 35th Anniversary Addy Doll, which I'm so excited to have. When they first came out with these, I definitely wanted Addy and I definitely wanted Kirsten. So those are the two that I got. I really wanted um, Felicity as well, but I, she sold out. I think she was the first one that sold out and I was so disappointed, but that's all right. I did get Addy and Kirsten. So first we're going to open up Addy and I just wanted to bring my Be Forever Addy to just stand next to her and welcome her to the doll family and just see if there's any differences or comparisons that we can make between the two. So first of all, of course, the box is in its original style, which was great. And there's the illustration of the book version of Addie. 1864 is her year, her time frame. So I'm going to go ahead and get her open and take a closer look. So here she looks inside the box. She comes packaged with her book. And the book is the original style, which we all know and, know and love. It had these great illustrations in there. I read the Be Forever version. I don't think I've read this one, although I might have because I think I have this book already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. But it's nice to have such a beautiful copy of it. And then it also comes with this little pamphlet of celebrating 35 years with, I guess, the first six that they came out with. We have a nice little display of all of them in their classic outfits. And then this is one of her accessories. I think this is her shawl, but here's a closer look at the fabric or the print on the fabric. So it looks like leaves on a vine. Just, it's a nice, be nice big piece of fabric too. Then we get Addie's half dime in this little envelope. which looks like that. It says half dime on it. And it says copy 1864. United States of America. And of course we get her shell necklace, which also comes in the Be Forever version. In the box, she also comes with this gourd which is pretty light, just plastic. So here they are side by side and Be Forever Addy actually looks a little bit taller, but I think it's maybe because of her shoes. But 
absolutely beautiful I am so impressed with this one here my new one so let me just show you a few of her details close up so as you can see she has this beautiful pink colored dress it's just I love the shape of it I love the design of it I love all these little buttons that go down just the way it's tied here and the combination of this pink with the blue and then the tan for her hat it just looks really pretty to me I really like it and then underneath she has on her little pantaloons <laughs> I don't know what they're called and then she has on black stockings but they're nice they're like thick black what are they socks nope they're stockings and then these black boots just really really pretty she's got a little bit of lint there but absolutely gorgeous 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 and here's a closer look at her face so she has the the single line eyebrows and just like these really soft brown eyes they're not super super dark they have that pinwheel design inside if you can see probably hard to see but you can see it a little bit and then her lips are darker than um this one so maybe it's just because she's newer or they just painted her that way but she's really really cute i just think there's something so beautiful about her face i don't know i really like it but anyway sorry addy she has her gold hoops in and then her little hat on top which is so cute there's a look at it from the side and then the back she has this hairstyle that i would probably never ever be able to recreate so i'm not going to take it out but just gorgeous lovely addy and here's a look at this one's face as a comparison so you can see the difference in the eyebrows her i don't know there's something her eyes are more defined i'm not sure what it is maybe it's the placement of the eyelashes her eyes look um just less pronounced i guess or defined and then you can see the difference in the lip colors so really beautiful if i had to keep just one it would be her because <laughs> i really like her a lot so there's the two Addies. And now we're going to take a look at and open Kirsten. Yay! But it does make me sad that they kind of shelved Addie and that she's not getting anything else new for her collection. She's such a good American Girl character. She's so important. She's so significant to our history. And I just love her books so much. I just, she's my favorite book character to read. And she's just such a beautiful doll, just such a special heart, special character and such a warm heart. And it's really sad that American Girl is like just, I don't know, giving up on her, retiring her. I don't want that to. I want them to make more stuff for her. Ugh. Oh, well, that was my quick rant. Now we'll get Kirsten open. Okay, here's a look at the American Girls collection. Kirsten, 35th anniversary doll. And I was so excited when they released her because I missed out. I started collecting American Girl dolls, I think, in 2015. So Kirsten had just been retired. And I'd always wanted Kirsten, especially when I was little. She was one of my favorite characters, and I loved her books. And I just didn't really feel motivated to buy a used one on eBay. So when she came out, released in her original form, I was so excited. So she was the first one I actually picked before, right before Addie. So here she looks in her box. You can see her cute little face and her cute little artwork here. I always was fascinated by the fact that she was from Sweden. And yeah, let's get her open and take a closer look. Okay, so Kirsten comes with her original book, Meet Kirsten, book one. And I have not read this in a long time, so I probably will just run through this. I remember loving her books and there's a look at her book. I think I might have an old copy of this as well that I thrifted, but it's nice to, again, have this nice new copy. And then, of course, we get her bonnet, which is a red and white checkered pattern. And, of course, Kirsten is from the time frame of the 1850s. Kirsten also comes with this 35th year anniversary pamphlet, which shows all of the original six. I'm surprised Kaya isn't in there. I always thought she was one of the OG sixes, but I guess it was Josefina. So this is one of the accessories she comes with. I think this is like a handkerchief. And I apologize since I haven't read her books in like 30 years <laughs> at least. I don't remember some of what her accessories symbolize. 
but we also have this this maybe is an apron with her initials on it and her year 1854 and we get this really adorable wooden spoon And we get this beautiful heart-shaped necklace. It's almost like amber or topaz or something like that. So if any of you know more about Kirsten and what her accessories symbolize, please let me know. All right, and taking a look at Kirsten, I always loved her meat outfit because I love the combination of the reds and the blues and the collar and her braids are adorable. She's so cute. She really is a cute character and a cute doll. So her apron's really cute. It has this nice little pocket here. And then here's a closer look at the pattern on her dress. So it's little red flowers. And it ties in the back. And then she's wearing her little white pantaloons. <laughs> and then she's wearing these striped socks and these little brown booty boots. Booty boots. Here's a look at her cute, cute face. She has blue eyes and golden blonde hair. And she has these little braided type material ribbons in her hair. And here's a look at her hair. Really cute. Oh, she's so adorable. Really pretty face, I think, too, on this one. I don't have very many classic molds with blue eyes, but I am glad to have, super glad to have Kirsten. So what do you guys think? Do any of you have Kirsten or did you have her when you were young? So anyway, I'm so, so grateful and thankful to have been able to get these two gorgeous 35th anniversary American Girl dolls.